And now we leave Dublin for the south. We're going to a certain part of a certain river in a certain county in Munster. The people in this film are real. It's just that the faces have been changed to protect the guilty. As everyone knows, there's nothing more tasty than a nice, fresh piece of pink salmon. And as long as there are people willing to pay a good price for a salmon, there'll be plenty of others who'll be just as willing to catch one for them, and who won't be too particular about the way they catch them. Now, what's this pair up to? Far be it for me to take away from anyone's character, but these gentlemen do seem to be acting in a rather suspicious manner. It looks to me as if they're trying to avoid being observed. Are they planning to lay violent and illegal hands on the peaceful salmon? Are they in fact poachers? It's quite true that the salmon doesn't like being caught even by legal means, but to catch him illegally, well, that's to add insult to injury. He's pretty safe from the legal fisherman as long as he has the sense to keep his eyes open and his mouth shut. But he hasn't got very much chance against the snatcher, the man who tries to hook him on the outside and reel him in quickly. And that's what these men are attempting. And they have him. He's hooked, doomed, and headed straight for the parsley and the mayonnaise. I hear there's a good deal of poaching on this river here. Oh, there is quite a good share of it in that, all right. Would you be against poaching yourself? Oh, I am definitely against it. And why? Well, some of the poachers use poison, and when that poison in the river cleans out all the fry and everything, the river is useless for years after. Some of them net it, and when they net it, they stone it and do all kinds of baiting in it. And any fish won't take a bait for three or four weeks after that, if they'll take it at all that year. Then others come along and stone to drive the fish into the sides to use straw calls and snatching, and the fish won't take a bait then either. They're frightened out of it. But there's a bit of art in using the straw call, isn't there? There is no act at all in using the straw call, because the tackle in the straw call would pull a hair cat. Well, Big, would you, strong tacky. Would you not think that if you don't allow poaching, you keep fishing only for the rich men? Oh, if you don't allow poaching, everybody can afford to fish. Would you say there's any skill in poaching? There is definitely great skill in poaching, at least certain uh, uh, types of poaching. But I hear them talking about damming the river and blasting it and putting poison into it. There's no skill in that. Oh, no, 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 no. But where does the skill come into it now? For snatching a fish now, or a blind pulling. What's, like. What do you mean by snatching? Snatching a fish. You have only a single hook, you're only a fly, much like that now, look. Yes. With a bit of lead, why with a bit of lead? And you'll see the fish from bottom of the pool, throw it to your flight him, bring it down in beside him, have a cut, pull against the head, and you're off doing business. Well, you'd foul hook him there, then, Oh, would you, you would. Oh, he's hooked on the outside, definitely. Well, would you have much trouble playing him and bringing him in? Much the same as you would uh, when you had him hooked legally. Much the same. Maybe you'd get him played out in a shorter time, like. Well, there's another kind I hear them talking about around here with a, a treble hook they use. Three-prong hook. Ah, uh, that's have the straw call. The straw call. Have you seen Actually, that? Actually, I have one of them here in my head. Look, that's where all the poachers keep them in case they meet a water keeper. Look, that's one of them, no. Throw the instrument. And, it, and if I can use that. Well, would a good poacher use a straw call now? No, not nowadays. No, no, no skill no. in that. Because you tear the fish and you couldn't sell him. So that's the reason why. If the fish is badly matched, you can't sell him. Yeah. What's that instrument you have in your hand now? That's what they call a gaffer. Yeah, well, an ordinary fisherman uses a gaff. Are you a full-time ordinary angler? Well, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Uh... Do you use this for poaching then? Yeah, for poaching purposes. Is that an know. illegal instrument to have? Well, it is. Uh, you can't have that except you have a license to fish for I fish. See. So that you could be arrested for having the gaff like that. Well, yes, I can't be charged for it, but I still use it. Well, it must be a dangerous enough life, a poacher's life. Are you afraid of the bailiffs around? Well, uh, there is uh, always a danger, bailiffs. What would you do to try and avoid being caught by the bailiffs? Well, uh, we try to uh, avoid them every way we can. We have uh, ways of our own for avoiding those bailiffs. We have uh, somebody to tip us off and we have other way of me. How would they tip you means. off? Would they put a flag up or something like that? Well, uh, they tip you off by whistler, flag up or something like that. We have signs of our own that we understand. 
Do you feel guilty about this poaching? Do you feel that you're taking fish off legitimate anglers? No, I do not. We uh, should have plenty of fish. There's a lot of... We should have all get enough of fish because man that gave us put these fish in the river, I think he made no distinction how who was to get them. I know that. Seems now that uh, certain people have taken over the fishing and uh, we can Some of us are ruled out. That's why I saw the poaching has... But if everybody, so much here. if everybody were to fish freely and take fish out of the river just as they like, there'd be no fish left in the river. And oh, after well, I don't think that will ever happen. There's always been right there to mind it. Hello, Father. How are they fighting hello, hello. tonight? Oh, they're actually they're very bad this evening. Are yeah. they? Yes, I would have thought uh, with all the rain that you'd get a bit... Well, the, the trouble, you see, is that uh, we've had so much rain all day that the... Uh, as you can see now, the river is rising. Yes. And I don't think it will be much good until about an hour's time or so. And then we'll be fishing not with the flies, but with the with, with worms. Oh, I see. Probably, yes. What is, what's the fishing been like generally of late around here? Uh, I think uh, everyone agrees that it was the best year we've ever had. You uh, have a bit of trouble with poachers, do you? Oh, well, who hasn't? I mean, you'll find that breed every place. <laughs> What, you're in the local angling club. Do you, do you have a very stringent methods of dealing with the poachers? Well, we haven't. Uh, we depend on the local water keepers to calm that business, you see. We can't do very much ourselves. They're our neighbours. We know who they are. And, well, it's the old Irish way of doing things. You don't inform on the, your neighbours. Kind of let them be caught if they're to be caught, and that's the way it is. Well, what us. do you feel about poaching yourself? Are you very much against it? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. yes. On the other hand, I've talked to poachers now, and their attitude was that God put the fish in the river for all men, and why should just the rich men, the people who pay their licence fees and who pay for being a member of a club, why should they just be the people mm. who can fish? Well, you see, if you're going to an orchard and you see God puts the apples in the apple trees, that doesn't give me a right to go into the next man's orchard and take the apples off the tree, does it? Would you be against poaching. all forms of poaching? Some of the men made a distinction between, say, blasting and poisoning, and then different kinds of, of poaching, say, uh, with the, with the a stroke call and things like that. Well, of course, there's no need to mention blasting and poisoning. I mean, that that's just... Uh, they should be put in jail, those people. And they uh, have increased the fines and uh, have six months in jail, I think, and a hundred pounds fine. I think that's a new bill that's coming in just now. Uh, but uh, even the other thing, I, I suppose you can't blame a man if he sees a salmon lying there and three or four feet of water and he just snatches him and takes that fish out but it's the man who comes down you see and day after day and methodically takes out the fish one after the other but you see he he completely ruins the river for every other one and yeah. it's a, just a selfish way of doing things see, he wants to have all and he wants no other one to have anything I know. and then of course it ruins the a fish that's frightened won't come up to a bait I mean, if it, is it true, Father, that fishing is only for the, the better off people? Is there much of a cost for an ordinary person to join an angling club? That, that's ridiculous. I mean, uh, these rods now can be got for five or six pounds and they, they last a lifetime. Mm. The only other cost then are the flies and the... What about the membership of the club? Well, our club here isn't uh, very bad. Actually, we have had, an invita we have had uh, letters from people in Canada this year uh, and a number of them from France even. Uh, and when they found out that the fee was so small, they, they began to get doubts and think that the fishing couldn't have been very much good. But actually, it is very good here. And, but the, the locals, some of the locals don't seem to look upon it that way. And even if they're at to just pay a pound or 30 shillings for the season, some of them crib against it. And that's, uh, it's very hard to get it out of them. Yes. Good fishing, Father. I won't yes. disturb you. Thanks very, very much. Good.